Family and friends, we are gathered together today in the sight of God to witness and bless the joining together of Tony and Wendy in Christian marriage. to be your husband and live together in a holy marriage. Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? If so, will you say, I will? I will. <laughs> and Tony, will you have Wendy to be your wife to live together in a holy marriage. Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. If you will, with equal enthusiasm, <laughs> respond with I will. I will. Kiss the bride. <laughs> But it was just fun getting to know each other and, and, and a lot of laughter, a lot of laughter. And, and I am a firm believer that to truly make a relationship last, one of the key elements is laughter. You gotta have laughter. So I would like to propose a toast to Wendy and Tony that your relationship, your relationship stay true, not only with the love and fulfillment you have for each other, but also with humor and laughter. I mean, it lasts forever. Here, here. Cheers. 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 So first of all, I just want to say she asked for this. <laughs> I'm just going to start with that. So I'll just say, when Wendy asked me to give me the toast, I wasn't sure because I didn't really feel I have the best track record to, uh, to be speaking on behalf of a newly united couple. Um, but let's do it. <laughs> so uh, I'd like to say welcome and uh, thanks everybody for coming. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah. On such short notice. <laughs> I'd like to welcome you all to Champaign County's edition of 90 Day Fiance. <laughs> I made, a, <laughs> I made a list of good reasons to get married. I couldn't come up with anything. <laughs> so I made a new list. Good reasons to get married, dot, 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 at your age. <laughs> One. By the time you hit the seven year itch, you'll be too old to scratch it. <laughs> Number two, there's less surprises at 50 <laughs> because uh, anything that's going to move or sag has already moved or sag. <laughs> I guess what I'm saying is you guys are like a fine wine. You've already aged and you've already fermented. <laughs>
One, I believe uh, everyone has the right and the need to be loved and to love with their person. Um, and I still believe in the old-fashioned, I, I still believe in the old-fashioned love. It does exist, and I think that's what we're all saying.